Mario, I'd be on the lookout if I were you. Because I think this girl is going after your Tanuki based costume getup thing. What's up, YouTube? LucasTV719 here, and time for your daily dose of Outer Code Extra information. Now, unlike last month where we got tons of information from the screenshots to other stuff, this time around, outside of Outer Code, there wasn't that much information. Speaking of which, if you haven't checked out my Outer Code review, check it out, it should be up at this point. But here, we're talking about Inazuma Walker and what we got. So let's go down the list, shall we? So we have our usual host, Level 5 President Akihiro Hino, and Mochan. And Mochan decided to cosplay as Sasuke. Yep, Demma's dog, the lesser of the two Sasuke's. The second Sasuke being the one who uses fire tornado within his five seconds of screen time. Anyway, as per usual, we started with fan art and they showed a lot of pretty good fan art as well as some of the old ones from the past in the Zuma Walker. And with all of this, it culminated in a battle to see which fan art will be chosen, A, B, C, or D. And as usual, us in the chat got the comment on which top two we wanted to see. Now I myself, I only voted for C, and in the end, C along with D won. After the character poll, we went to this week's episode with commentary. This week's episode being the episode where Raimon faced Kirokawa Seishu. And our special guest for this week was Megumi Tano, also known as the Seiyu for Kabeyama and Sakuma. The next segment, they basically took questions that fans asked characters in the show and then gave answers to. I mean, everything was in Japanese, so I didn't really understand any of the questions, but the pictures they played alongside the answers was pretty nice, so I mean, I guess that's something. After the questions came the main dish, the episode of Outer Code. Now, as I said before, if you want to hear my thoughts on Outer Code, just go and check my review. Now, the last part of this month's episode of Inazuma Walker was actually a Valentine's Day event that they're doing from February 10th to February 17th. Now, on Level 5's Twitter, you would tweet at them a valentine, which would consist of the name of the character you're sending it to, where you're from, the type of chocolate you'd like to send, and of course the hashtag in the Zuma 11 Valentine's 2017. Now, while this is Twitter, technically anyone could be part of this, but of course everything has to be in Japanese, so it's targeted towards in the Zuma 11 Japanese fans. Now, anyone who's doing this, I am expecting one from my main man Tsunami Josuke. The man needs some love, I mean, come on. With that was the end of this month's issue of Inazuma Walker. The next issue will actually be on March 24th at 8 o'clock Japan Standard Time, and the hint we're getting isn't really a hint. It's a white day special. Now, for those that don't know, in Japan, Valentine's Day is when girls actually send chocolate to guys, and then in March, a month later, guys send the response back. So, the next in Azuma Walker is basically the responses from the characters to the Valentines they'll be getting during February on Twitter. So, we're not getting any info for the next in Azuma Walker, which means what the next Outer Code episode is going to be is going to be completely random. We have no idea. So, I'm excited. I can't wait. Tell me what you guys thought of this month's episode of Inazuma Walker. If you're not Japanese and you want to send a chocolate to a character, who would you send it to? Tell me in the comments down below. I'm LucasTV719. Till we meet again, folks.